<laughs> Welcome back, ladies and gentlemen, to Let's Play. Beholder, my name is Weasel, and in the last episode, well, she killed herself with poison and then bled to death for whatever reason. It's 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 a fairly odd situation. I don't know what Anna is doing up here. And we received a new directive as well. What's going on? Uh, war talk is prohibited. Intriguing. Intriguing. I don't I don't know how I'm gonna do that. Uh, how I can figure this out? Probably by let's repair that. Probably by putting cameras everywhere. And I could put four cameras down here, maybe even more. Uh, four cameras would do the trick, I feel. Um, oh, we inform you that your son, Pakistan, was dismissed to non-payment of the study fee. He's therefore been sent to mine 3742 as utility worker, Ministry of Distribution. Fine, cool, he has been dismissed. 2000. Yeah, it's this, this kid is only getting into trouble, it's the worst. It's the worst. Anyway, someone wants to move in, a young student looking to rent a room. Fantastic, fantastic. We're gonna find an opportunity to make some money. Very good. Very good. Oh yeah, right. We wanted to buy some cameras. Wide, wide viewing range. Um, I'm kind of intrigued. I kind of want to do that. I want to put three big cameras down there. But I think we should keep some room for what you call it, uh, bribing people. So what I'll do is, um, yeah, you guys keep talking. Let me just put up the camera. Don't mind me. I'm just changing the batteries. That's all I'm doing. Maybe I can catch someone, talk about war crimes, or war, war talk is prohibited, right. That would be fantastic, a fantastic way to blackmail people. Alright then, put that up here. Somebody's on the phone, good for him. I still wish I could t uh, uh, wiretap that. This seems like a place where I would want to put a good camera. The white viewing range, but screw it, me, Motorhead has to do this time. We have a good idea about what's going on in this house, so, good times. You're sad. Why are you so sad? Why are you so sad? Be awesome instead. Hey, Nathan, anything new? I doubt it. I'm still going to have a look. What are you selling today? Just shit I don't care about. Cool. Okay. Oh, I never talked to Nora. Let's talk to her. What do you want? Let's meet. Hello, I'm Carl. Dora Nora, nice to meet you. Let me know if you need anything. Of course. Uh, ask about the news. What's new? Alas, I have nothing to tell you. I don't know anybody here. I've got cold on my first day here. Oh, that's a bummer. Ask about previous address. Uh, who cares where I came from? All that matters that I'm here now. I like it there. I like it here. It's less crowded than the capital. Everyone has a job. Do you like it here? Yeah, it's great. See, we have a lot in common. All right, end conversation. Goodbye. Well, that was a great talk. Nobody's in here right now. And we're gonna have a look because someone friggin is stashing a gun and that's not cool Someone has a weapon, so we're going to find the weapon and then we're gonna blackmail him for having a weapon Either in here. Nope Or in the chair. It's gotta be somewhere. Maybe he stored it somewhere else. It's entirely possible Looks no no weapon ah. Fishing rod an avid angler First aid, containing everything you need to render emergency care. Huh. I mean, that's cool. We're still gonna have to look for everything else. And, oh shit, he's back. He's back! He has a weapon, I don't like it. Okay. Quick, run to the shelf. Look in the shelf. Oh, yeah, keep smoking. Keep smoking, don't mind me. Nothing new, nothing new. This is frustrating. Where is he hiding? Where are you hiding your gun, old man? I see you fussing around with your pistol, but I can recorded or for whatever reason which seems rather odd nope still nothing new did I miss something like a chair Ah, well leaving right now is she home is Dora home because I could probably nope she's not home I would probably just go in and have a quick look around just a quick look see hi how's it going 80s oh illegal I I got you there. Oh, you're so boned. You're so boned. You're gonna get. Oh, I'm gonna blackmail you so hard. Let's do this. I I see no reason to evict her. Doesn't give me that much money. Okay, there you go. Uh, apartment four is it? Isn't it? Yes. Okay, blackmail to what is her name? Dora. Apartment four. You violated directive. 6046? Hmm, my new favorite directive. 
from the 6th of September. And I'm not cool with it. You better place a thousand in the thing down there. Oh, George. Hi, George. Are you going to offer me to give someone a box for lots of money? I'd like that. Okay, someone won the lottery. Get acquainted. Hello, Carl. Who are you? New tenant. I know everyone who lives in the building, but this is the first time I've seen you. Ah, we don't know each other. Yes, we become friends. All right, so um, he wants me to give him a box. Take the box and give it to fl uh, 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 Full Flattle. Take the box and bring it to your office. Turn down the deal. <sighs> you know what? I'm going to give it to Full Flattle a little, little. Give that. Well, the money won't hurt. Give me the box. Thanks, Carl. We pay our debts. Because I could really use the money. Because I want to keep going. Cabinet maker's kit. Yeah, to repair stuff. Very well. Very well. Mm-hmm. Quite so. Mm, indeed. Uh, wait. Did she? Oh, okay. She put it in the... In the plot. Is she going back to... Yeah, she's going back to her apartment. Oh, let's... Oh, I already got that information that he was drinking. Nothing new. Nothing new for me there. 1,000 for silence. Very well. I like silence. Silence is great. I need to give this box to this new tenant. Where does the new tenant live? I think down here. He's not home right now. Nope, he's not. Which is a good excuse to break in and steal. Uh, uh, look at his shit. Man, this is snooping the game. Oh, shit. I'm so sorry. I thought you weren't home. Well, I guess it's a good time. What are you doing here? Oh, sorry about that. Leave it once. I just wanted to check some things out. My bad. This, this happens. Happens to the best of us, right? Anyway. Where is she? Yeah, I still am. She's a music teacher and I blackmailed her. I'm the worst person. Talking about that. Oh, war talk. Mark, war talk. I got you there, my friend. I got you there, don't I? I'll keep that information. I'm not gonna uh, uh, do that right now because if I can blackmail him and then still evict him, oh, that'd be so good. That'd be, that'd be fantastic because I, he's also fussing around with weapons. So let's see if we can make that happen. Oh, doctor's eating. Quick, fresh look. Oh, actually, he's leaving. Okay. Let's have a look now. He's probably already... Oh, wait. I gotta give you the box first. Sorry. Give the box. Perfect. Denton wasn't wrong about you. Here's the money. Then I'll move out in a couple of days. Moving out in a couple of days. Okay, I'm not going to blackmail him. Because I might make lots of cash monies. Pick up the phone. Accept private call. Hello, this is Carl Stein. Of whom am I talking? You've heard about the National Library Lottery. It's winner Leo Gritzak is looking for a place to stay. We want you to give a refuge to this lucky man. What good will that do to you? Who are you? We're well wishers. He'll soon face a thousand temptations, bandits, and frauds will be waiting. We want to help. After he was in, you must convince him to invest. Yes. Horns and hoofs. So I think they're going to threaten me. Jellied meat, yes. Okay. Consider as a warning. If somebody stands in our way, he becomes jelly meat himself. Soon our jelly meat will become a national good. <sighs> Fine. Okay. Yes, but who thinks up such names? It's a real tongue twister. Okay, we're gonna persuade him to do that once he moves in. Horns and hooves. I need that guy to move in. And we got a new directive. It's illegal to store light bulbs. Haven't seen anyone do that just yet. But yeah, let's make our way. He actually that doesn't help me if I uh, find something legal in his place. So I'm just going to check out if our music teacher has something else brewing in her apartment. We, I guess we could get rid of her and then we don't have to set up a new apartment. That would be nice. Don't have to buy new cameras. Alright then. Is that a blue blouse and letter? I wonder if we can find something for the doctor. If we can still find that girlfriend. Dance music. A knife. A very sharp knife. Why can I not file this as dangerous tendencies or so? Because a broken bottle seemed to some seemed to be something before. A book. Okay, that's some interesting information. Ice skates. And nothing else. I mean, it's just inf interesting information in general. So I'll take it. Thank you. Book, book, book. Nothing else. Okay, what's in the TV? Oh, there's another right. Empty bottles and a purple blouse with a customer name. The price is pinned. Se she's a seamstress? What? I don't, I don't get that. Let us buy 
another surveillance camera. This time a small one, just to cover the chair. For what it's worth. Oh wait, what does that? What good that does that do? If it's pointing like this, seems like a rather odd choice. Oh well. This one, on the other hand, I could take the small one out and put a big one in here. And again, I don't, I don't really care for my for my for my small neighbor, for her. She doesn't seem to be very interesting in that regard. Okay, let's talk to the wife real quick. Hi, waifu. What, Carl? How may I help? Oh, about her suicide. How horrible. How could it have happened? She drank red poison. It's horrible, Carl. This house is chaotic. Don't panic. Shimo was a traitor and his wife hid his crooked ways. I hate to say this, but maybe they just got their desserts. Oh, Carl, when did you change? Oh, I was bad. Bad to the bone, baby. How may I help? What do you want? 500 for groceries. Fine, here, take my money. Take... Take my soul, why don't you, while you're at it. What else do you want? Purchases for the house. <sighs> Buys a radio. Ugh, a radio. Fine. Asked to bring her a radio. I don't know if I want to bring her a radio. It's, 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 it's really pricey, actually. Okay, Dora is kind of sad. We're going to profile her. For some extra cash monies. That's a good idea. She lives in an apartment. Which one? Four. Okay, profile, Dora, Dora the Explorer, she lives alone, and she is a music teacher. I only got three informations on her. No reason to get rid of her. Didn't we have a quick, quick, quick look? That one guy, oh yeah, right, Mark, 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 Mark. Yes, write a report about Mark, where is he? Uh, lives in an apartment. I think it's free, I want to say. Yeah, three. War talk. I got you there, my friend. War talk is prohibited under Directive 6050, which I'm going to use you to kick you out or just, uh. Well, that would get rid of him. Oops. Okay. You know what? Look at all this information that I haven't sent over yet. I gotta do that. We're gonna make lots of monies and then we're gonna file a report. Male marital status lives with... Ah, uh, shit. What's her, what's her name? Ronick. Rosa Ronick. Occupation. You are an archive employee living in apartment number four. Oh, sorry. Three. My bad. I always make that mistake. Yo, you can't even drag this over. This has to be filed in a report. 875 75. That's that's a lot of cash money. He's very happy about that. Glad to see. Uh we're gonna report him. I don't like him in the first place. He's I mean he's a good guy. He was ratting out who was it? He was ratting out someone. Uh apartment number four. Apartment number three. Don't don't make the mistake. They don't like when you screw that up. And it was 60-50 from the 9th. Report rejected. Incorrect data apartment number. Oh, damn it. How did I make that mistake again? Apartment 3. Did I click the wrong one? I might have. Mark Ronick. Apartment 3, 60-50 from the 9th. Incorrect data. This subject is under state protection. Oh. Oh. Ha. Huh. Well, that's good, I guess. Then I can blackmail him. Because he just cost me a lot of money. Fine, state protection. Which is probably not a good idea. I'll try it anyway because I'm curious. 9th of September. I mean, he says he's protected. I'll try anyways. Or, wait, 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 wait. What about his wife, though? What about his wife? Because she talked to him. Nope, I don't have anything there. Well... There you go. Blackmail. Let's hope he brings me some money. That'd be really nice. Are you gonna, gonna, oh, alcohol. We got a drinker. Full Flettel is a drinker. If he would leave his apartment, I could profile him real quick. Okay. Yeah, you just smoke your pipe. I'll take to the 1,000 bucks. That's not my fault. You screwed up there. Thank you. Much appreciated. By the way, where's my son? Haven't seen him in a while. Is he is he already dead? I mean, he might be. Oh, what's going on there? Oh, you have insomnia. Bummer. I have no idea how I'm seeing this. Well, that's okay. 
Okay, how about I repair an apartment? Haven't done that. Would probably be a good idea. And the other one while I'm at it too. And let's see if anyone wants to move in. Right, Leo Rent, our lottery winner. I need him. By the way, our drinking buddy, or our, our, yep, he's not in his apartment. I would like to report, just just create a report for some extra cash. Oh, a new message received. Fantastic. Ah, friggin' now the phone rings? I don't have time for this shit. Okay, he likes soccer, and he has a watch. It's good enough. I bet the apartment will hold its breath waiting for that information to come through. Alright, pick up the phone. Private call. Good afternoon, this is George Danton. Our unit has friends everywhere. All I want from you is an explanation about which unit you're discussing. I have a family, I must know what you're getting me into. We're trying to make the world a better place. Call it's impossible with the current government. As you know, it's unwilling to change. What's your unit's name? Unit of Confident Revolutionists. The New Tomorrow Movement. Why are you so being sarcastic? We might have become best friends. You can earn the money you so desperately need for your family. Well, I mean, the daughter's already dead. What if I refuse to deal with you and report you to the quarter? I'm afraid your refusal can lead to unpleasant consequences for both of us. I repeat, we have friends everywhere. I knew it! There is something behind your chatter about a better tomorrow. One can fry eggs without breaking them. You have kids and therefore you must know what it means to sacrifice yourself. Will you offer to sacrifice someone else? Me, for example? Not necessarily if I, you know, if you help us. I don't have a choice. What do you want from me? Find an apartment near a wonderful building for a faithful comrade. His name is Antoine Grubich. Fantastic. Ask about the reward. How much will you pay me? 3,000. This will be the beginning. Ask about the person. Who's that? Very important to the unit. The country. If you don't force me to help or with the movement, describe your perception of the state of our country. I must know why I'm putting myself at risk. Why do you need an explanation, Carl? You already know everything. Total control of people, ridiculous bans on everything, no freedom of speech. What do I get in return? Cards for clothes, food, soap. People shudder at night when they hear the slightest sounds. They're afraid someone will come and take them away. What do you think of reports written by one family member to turn in another? Is it okay? What about your job, Carl? What normal society can count it appropriate? I do the job I was assigned, I don't have a choice. You always have a choice. Help us, Carl. You know what? Maybe I'll do that. I will help you. All right. I'll, I'll, I'll make him move in. Does he do want to move in now? Nope. That's Rotar. That's Sour. That's Petra. There he is. Grubich. Okay. Let him move in. What's the new? It's illegal to wear a blue tie. Fantastic. Now I have a blue tie. Okay. The phone's ringing again. What's, what's it now? Pick up the phone. Private call. I'll send the money to your account. Please help Comrade Grubich the best you can. All right, I understand you. I'll call you in a couple of days. Okay, someone... Oh, she's drinking too. Poor girl, poor girl. Of course, I, I just blackmailed her. No wonder she's drinking. Can't can't really blame her for that. Uh, do I need anything? Okay, shit, that guy's moving out. I wanted to report him. Great. Fine, this, might as well repair it. We have 11,000 bucks. We're gonna need that. Okay, Rotar, he's looking to rent a place until the spring draft. And Margaret Sauer. Uh, Anjay Rotar, let's get him in. Sounds good to me. That Grubich guy, he's already moved in, right? He's he's in there. Yeah, he's up here. I'm gonna have to put some cameras down. I could probably put like, I could buy three cameras. I could probably afford that. Okay, this guy now. I can sell him one of the ties, my compliments. Take a look. So blue ties are illegal now, meaning I can sell them now for more money. Yay! Or use them to, you know, trick someone. I'm gonna sell it because we can always get an apple to get rid of someone that we don't like. Um, actually, oh, a radio, 2,250. Works better on the upper floors. The basement is out of the question. Received only two state channels, but some people have used amplifiers. Ha! Radio, 2200. She would love that, but do we really need one? I doubt it. I doubt it. Anyway, let's sell those glasses. Nobody needs those. Thank you very much. Oh, yeah, this guy. Let's say hi to him. Wait, 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 wait. That means we have some free apartments, which also means that I need to put some cameras down. So let's do that. I guess I can persuade him with some reputation. Oh shit, he's moving. Uh, one, two, three cameras. Let's put one big one in here. Hopefully that does the trick. Oh shit, oh shit, oh shit, oh shit, oh shit, oh shit. Run, 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 run! Weasel, run! No, he doesn't trust me. What are you doing here? Apologize and leave, sorry about that. Yeah, that's awkward. 
Anyway, as I was about to say, I wanted to break into this place. Wait, I hope he isn't home. Doesn't seem like it. Good. So what I'll be doing, I'll put one of the good cameras here as well. Just to possibly catch him doing something. Oh, 300? Wait, did I, how many did I buy? I bought three. Oh, I just, I totally underestimated the cost for this. Oh well, so be it. Fine, I'm a totally out of reputation points. We're just gonna have to do some tasks to earn those. I can also probably... Yeah, I don't see enough on him. That's okay. First, let's have a look what Grubich is up to. I mean, I can't blackmail this guy, but at least I can report him, I guess. Oh shit, he's coming. Shit, why can't I leave? Oh, that was close. Hey, don't mind me, yeah. I'm just still on the floor. I'm not gonna break in again. Why would I do that? That seems really silly. If I can blackmail him, that'd be fantastic. Okay, soccer ball. He likes soccer, a ranch, music, engine oil. Why are you storing engine oil in a shelf? What's wrong with you, man? Okay, he likes fishing. And factory access card. Oh, shit. Shit, 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 shit. Whew. Let's talk to him. I, yeah, I just walked out of your place. I'm the landlord. I respect her fully. Thank you for putting me in. I will be here for a few days attending important matter. What brought you here? I feel the fortune for the first time in a long difficult life. I won the labor lottery. Can we talk? Talk about the lottery. How will you spend your winnings? I have a difficult dilemma. My sister house burned down recently. She and her family live close to the front line. I want to move there, but I have no family. I'm also going to buy new work shoes in case for my tools. I'm buying gifts for my nieces and nephews. Okay, we're having some small talk. Wait, wait, wait. Ah, Frankie walked away. Fine, fine, I'll, I'll talk to him another time. Or I'm just gonna call him. Why can I not for the life? Oh, right, because he's protected. That's why he can't play around with guns and stuff. That makes so much sense now. So much sense. So yeah, Dora. I wonder if I can get rid of her. Because, yeah. I can't do much with her. She's not breaking any laws right now. Um, ask about Laurie. How will you spend your winnings? I have a difficult dilemma. Yes, okay, we had all of that. Sorry about that. Let's talk again. Uh, ask about the city. What do you think about the city? I do like it very much. There's so many factories. Um, anything else? Ask what he wants. Do you want something? I need your help. Oh yeah, right. He wants a tie. I knew you'd be a big help. Ask about a tie. I found a green tie for you. Do you like it? Definitely. 300 will cover my expenses totally. All right, cool. He's gonna come back to me eventually. I'm not too worried. Uh, I will go ahead and report that uh, Dora now, or um, profile her, profile her. Violation of order, dressed in white robes, snuck into the university. Okay, do we have a new directive then? No, just blue ties are illegal. Follow Antoine Grubich. I have no idea how I'm going to do that. I have absolutely no idea how to follow him. I mean, I can, I can watch him, but follow him. I should have asked the private number what, what following means in that regard. Okay, what are other tasks we have? Right, persuade him to get that stuff going. Uh, bring her a radio. Well, for that, I'm going to need a... All right, this guy. Yeah, we're going to report him for some extra cash money. So we're going to need the dealer. Otherwise, we won't be able to buy the radio. So, fantastic. I, I guess my son is dead. He must be. I haven't seen him in so long. Anyway, Liu won the lottery. Uh, let's not write a report just yet. Sorry. Uh, profile attendant. Where is that other guy? That weird dude that moves in. Yeah, he's odd. NJ Rodhar. I have no information about him. But I have some more information about Dora. Dora Noel lives in apartment 4. And she's alone. All alone. No cats. I guess there's no cats in this game. Music teacher. With an alcohol problem and insomnia. What? Incorrect data? Tenant's marital status? What? I'm an idiot. I ruined everything. Where is she? Dora. Apartment number four. Female. Lives alone. Oh, why did I select Rota? <laughs> I think I did that. Okay. Just making sure music teacher. A young girl with sad eyes. And I, I, I made her even sadder. I made her super sad. Oh, perfect. Grubich. Antoine Grubich. Maybe I... Just need to follow him literally. Oh, they moved out? Oh, that's fantastic. Fantastic news. We've got a new directive. Illegal to read or own a book? A book. Holy moly. 
Anyway, let's uh, move who? Zawar. Yeah, let's move her in. Seems good. To own a book. That's pretty crass. Just a book. Straight up just a book. Let's talk to him. Gruber. Meet. I'm Carl. It's nice to meet you. Mutual friends told me you're one of the best printing specialists. It seems you make jobs things. I don't think we have mutual friends. Of course. Secrecy and other stuff. Sorry for bothering you. I don't know what you're talking about. Yeah. Good job, Carl. You're so sneaky. So friggin' sneaky. So sneaky. Uh, right. Talking about that. Probably a good idea. I could look. Oh, yeah, right. Is she... Oh, no, she's down there. I can just go in. I could see if there is a... I'm gonna get the other camera, obviously. I don't think I need the good camera. I'm gonna pack that one up. I'm gonna put it in the lottery winner's place. I kinda feel there's not much information to gather from that sad woman. Uh, books. No, she has a book. I thought books are illegal. I guess this is not that kind of book. Quick look again. Maybe something else became illegal in the meantime. Nope, nope, nothing. I used to have a book, if only I didn't sell it. Ah, so be it. Man, empty bottle. She's really drinking a lot. She is definitely. Can I put it in here and... Nope. Steal. Can, can blame her with that book or frame her with that. Well, another time. She's not, she's not causing any problems. Oh! She still has that again? Wow. I guess I could... I could, I could, um, blackmail her again. She can help it. She's a repeat offender. I gave her all the chances. I just asked for a little bit of money. She could have thrown it out. I mean, I bought my silence. Maybe I'll just buy my silence again. Anyways, let's uh, go over here and turn on. Oh, I could steal the radio, couldn't I? There's someone just standing there. I bet he wouldn't mind if I stole it. I bet he wouldn't mind. He probably would totally mind. Okay, book, steal, not in, of interest. Okay, I can steal a radio. Perfect. Would, would save me quite a bit of money. Dumbbells do not lie idle. Mittens, watches, blue shirts. Nothing of interest. What's in the table? Possibly nothing. Oh, a letter. Toothbrush. Oh, he's coming up here. And he wants to talk to me. I probably get a chance to convince him to do something. Let's see. Hey, Leo. Hi, buddy. We're friends, right? What do you want? I need your advice, Carl. I'm confused. I got my money today, but I'm not sure I can manage it properly. Give me some advice. How should I spend it? <sighs> Invested in cattle development. Uh-huh. In jellied meat. Yes, they want to make jellied meat our national dish. Are you sure that's a good idea? Confirm. 500 points. Damn it. I understand your doubts. Don't make a hasty decision. Ah, oh, freak. I don't have enough points and I can sell them. No, that's what I needed that for. Oh, no. Oh, no. Can I just leave this? Invest in fruit, help the relatives. Invest in the savings bank. Cattle development, come on. Cattle development. Confirm. Damn it. Well, the savings bank, fine. Shit, I can't. Take your time. I want to leave this. No. No. I guess my wife is gonna die. I'm pretty sure my wife is gonna die. Fine, okay, sure. Here, invest in fruit and berry farm. I've heard that because of the ban of imported apples, Paradise Gardens plans to grow a new kind of domestic apple. You think it's a good idea? Sure. Sure. Oh, man. I would have gotten 5,000 bucks, but no, no. Friggin' had to spend all my points on a stupid camera. <sighs> Got me all again. What do you want, Anna? You want money? You probably want money. How may I help? 700 for utilities. Fine, here. You're awesome. I know I am. But I ruined this, which which is absolutely the worst. <sighs> gotta make some money. Gotta, gotta blackmail a woman. Gotta, gotta blackmail someone. Or just get rid of her. Maybe someone else can move in. That might be worth at this point. Just kick her out. I mean, I already know so much about her. Her life is really sad, isn't it? And then she has that stuff. You know what? I like her. I'll, I like her, so I'm not going to... Oh, I can't... Oh, I can't blackmail her. I was about to say. What's it? It, uh, it is... 6046. 6046. I make more money that way, you know? I just make more money from the 6th September. Why do I need to tell her that? She knows it's illegal. She clearly knows that. Because we did it before, as far as I remember. Uh, that was apartment number 4. Apartment number 4. Fantastic. And the other guy just moved out. 
Cool. Waiting for a response. We'll see. Okay, we're gonna repair the apartment. The other guy left. I'm, I'm fairly certain my wife is now just gonna keel over and die. What, Carl? I'm so sorry. I couldn't save your life. Anyway, we're gonna continue in the next episode. Thank you so much for watching. If you enjoyed it, please leave a like. I'm Weasel. I'm out. And I hope to see you around. Bye-bye.